Diehard fans of the Three Stooges may have noticed while watching some of the troupe's classic shorts that the character of Curly always walked with a limp. This wasn't a creative choice by the actor who played him. Curly was played by Jerome Howard, who suffered a firearm accident when he was younger that affected his walk. This accident resulted in the character of Curly having his iconic limp. Join Facts First as we take a look at how Curly didn't fake his limp on the Three Stooges. The Firearm That Caused Curly's Limp When Jerome Howard was only 12, he had a firearm accident that affected him for the rest of his life. He went on to play Curly in the Three Stooges' most classic short films. Most viewers will likely be familiar with Curly's iconic limp, and this limp came as a result of Jerome's childhood accident. It occurred while the 12-year-old boy was attempting to clean a firearm. During the cleaning, he accidentally fired it and was shot in the leg. As soon as Jerome Howard heard the gunshot go off, he looked down and saw there was blood trickling out of him. But thankfully, he didn't do too much damage. The shot didn't go through anything that would have caused him serious injury. But it did make it so that he would be plagued with a noticeable limp for the rest of his life. Jerome wasn't a founding member of the Three Stooges. Jerome Howard went on to portray Curly in the Three Stooges' most classic short films. Jerome wasn't a founding member of the troupe, but his two brothers were. Mo Howard, Shemp Howard, and Larry Fine founded the troupe. Of course, Mo and Shemp were Jerome's older brothers. When Shemp decided to exit the troupe, Mo decided to bring in their younger brother to replace him. When Jerome joined as Curly, they became more popular than ever. There are many who consider Curly the greatest of the Three Stooges. Larry Fine also suffered a childhood injury. Founding member Larry Fine also suffered a fairly serious injury as a child, and this went on to have an influence on their films. When Larry was a kid, he suffered a severe chemical burn that caused him to have to get several skin grafts. While Larry was undergoing physical therapy, he was encouraged to pick up the violin. He became fairly good at the instrument and played the fiddle quite often in the Three Stooges shorts. It's quite the coincidence that two of the Three Stooges should suffer serious injuries as children, as the majority of the troupe's humor revolved around making light of serious injuries. For many, the work of the Three Stooges continues to define slapstick humor. In their shorts, the Three Stooges could be seen being injured in all types of different ways. But since these shorts were meant to be comedic, the injuries typically didn't have real-life consequences. More about Jerome's accident Jerome Howard was born October 22, 1903 in Brooklyn. It was actually Moe's gun that was fired in the firearm accident. Jerome had made plans to go out hunting with a friend and didn't have his own firearm. He grabbed his older brother Moe's hunting rifle, and it was while cleaning this hunting rifle that he accidentally suffered the accident. The bullet entered into his left leg. The doctors told Jerome they may be able to surgically correct his bones, but he opted out. Instead, he learned to live with his new limp. Fans of the Three Stooges can be thankful for this, as it would be hard to picture Curly without the limp that became his trademark. Did the Three Stooges ever get injured? Given that so much of the Three Stooges' work revolved around some pretty serious stunts, it should also come as no surprise to learn that the members of the troupe suffered some injuries during filming of their classic shorts. During filming of the 1937 short film Three Dumb Clucks, Jerome had to do a stunt that required him falling down an elevator shaft. While the set was made so that Jerome wouldn't injure himself, the crew didn't account for a rogue piece of wood that was sticking out when it was time for the actor to jump. When he jumped down the shaft, he slammed his head on the rogue piece of wood and his scalp split open. Fortunately, there was a doctor on hand to stitch him up, and the star was back to work in a matter of minutes. Sadly, he suffered a series of strokes later on that he couldn't get up from. Before we tell you more about the Three Stooges, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. A young fan beats the Three Stooges up. There was a memorable incident where a fan of the troupe physically assaulted them in public. The Stooges were visiting Atlantic City and found themselves on a boardwalk. The troupe was approached by a young fan. This was nothing new, but this young fan made the experience memorable in a decidedly painful way. Wanting to pay homage to his favorite slapstick trio, the young boy pulled out a cane and began beating the Three Stooges with it. Of course, since this was real life, the beating hurt a good deal more than the fake beatings on camera. The Demise of Curly Although Jerome hadn't been an original founding member, 
Curly quickly became the troupe's most popular character. But by the 1940s, Jerome wasn't feeling himself anymore. Fans will notice he wasn't quite as lively in the Three Stooges short films entering into the 40s, and this was as a result of his failing health. After filming the short Idiot's Deluxe, Jerome Howard was convinced by his older brother Mo to visit the hospital. While there, he was diagnosed with several notable issues. In addition to obesity, he was diagnosed with extreme hypertension as well as a retinal hemorrhage. As a result, the Three Stooges only went on to produce a total of five short films in 1945. While this may seem like a lot, it was slightly less than they normally did. Mo Howard would have preferred for the troupe's output to have stopped altogether until Jerome was feeling more like himself. Sadly, Mo wasn't the person in charge of this decision. That person was Harry Cohn, who demanded the troupe keep working despite Jerome's failing health. This resulted in a number of shorts where Jerome's physical performance was far from perfect. Curly's Last Appearance not only did Harry Cohn's decision to force the Three Stooges to continue working after Jerome's diagnoses affect the quality of the troupe's output, it also likely had a pretty negative effect on Jerome's health. The star arguably needed more rest than he got after his serious diagnoses, and the fact that he had to keep working caused unnecessary stress that may have contributed to his early death. The last Three Stooges short he appeared in was Halfwit's Holiday, released in 1946. During filming, Jerome suffered a stroke that put his performing days to an end for good. According to legend, Jerome was resting in the director's chair when he was called to film a scene and he didn't respond. His brother checked on him and found the actor was completely debilitated. He was rushed to the hospital and the remainder of Halfwit's holiday was rewritten to have Curly removed. Once filming was complete, Mo was able to check on his brother at the hospital. Jerome went on to slightly recover from the stroke, but it wasn't the last he suffered. He married a woman named Valerie Newman in 1947. The two had a daughter in 48, though Jerome wasn't around long to take care of her. The same year as his daughter's birth, he suffered a second stroke that left him partially paralyzed. He was forced to get around in a wheelchair for the remainder of his days. He also continued suffering increasingly debilitating strokes over the next several years leading up to his 1951 death. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite of the Three Stooges? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.